Hey in the loop. <clears throat> Hope you're staying warm. Temperature is about to drop. My goodness, I heard it might be uh, 20 degrees heading into the weekend. So man, if it's going to be 20 degrees, it might as well snow. I doubt that's going to happen, but um, hope you're having a great uh, final stretch here till Christmas Day. Of course, on Christmas Eve, uh, or if you're traveling, please be safe. We'll be praying for you. Keep us posted if you need anything. Um, you know, I'll be off next week, so this is the final in the loop of the year. And we will, of course, um, be gathering this Saturday night if you're in town. Come on out. It's always a great time. Uh, family friend friendly environment we go as long as we can before the kids start getting a little too too antsy but uh, man of kids has got a great presentation um, i'll follow it up with uh, just a christmas devotional uh, they're going to read the christmas story i'm going to share briefly on the christmas story the real one not the not the mouses scurrying through the house but luke chapter two uh looking for the king of kings wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger we'll be talking a little bit about that incredible news uh, that hit those shepherds. So looking forward to that. We'll, we'll turn on our candles, click, and we'll sing a carol, and we'll have some hot chocolate, and we'll take some photos, and we'll go home and stay warm <laughs> on probably the coldest Christmas morning in the panhandle ever. So that's what's coming this weekend. Um, after that, we will not be gathering on the 25th, of course. We won't be gathering on the 1st either. Um, Serve team, you mean so much to us, and that would be very difficult to scramble you coming off New Year's Eve. So we are going to just have an online service. I've already recorded it. I gave you the notes here in this email. I'm very, very excited about not only that message, but uh, the, the few that are going to follow that. It's going to lead us through the 21 days of prayer, sacred rhythms, just getting our hearts right for 2023 um, and just preparing. That's actually the name of the first message, preparing. And so really looking forward to, um, yeah, helping lead our church into um, more ways to sync up with what we need most, which is the presence of God in our lives, the truth of God, the word of God, the, the power of God, the peace of God. So that's where that series is going next year. And again, the 21 days of prayer and fasting, we'll talk about that as we regather on January 8th. So online the 1st. Back in person on the 8th, you'll get a reminder from me the first week of the year uh, in the loop. And then hit the ground running with 21 days of, of prayer and fasting. Three gatherings at the Niceville Community Center. Always love doing that. Get about 80 people in that room. Um, asking God to do what only he can do. So proud of you, man of church. It's been an amazing year. It's an honor to be your pastor. Pastor Donnie will be with us as we start the next year. Be praying for his family as they make this transition over the break, uh, get down to their house uh, in this area. And so looking forward to a new year, new day, <clears throat> fresh new walk with Jesus. We love you. We bless you. Um, hope to see you Saturday night. If not, have an incredible Christmas and New Year's. God bless you, man of church.